welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing some decorating. I'm updating some decor in a couple spaces around our home and restyling some shelves. So hopefully you get some decor ideas and enjoy today's video. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head since I still had some Easter decor up, I wanted to take it all down from my coffee bar area and redecorate it. I know it's still spring, but those flowers were just feeling more like Easter, so I'll be adding some fresh white flowers and just more neutral decor to this little area. But first, I'm just wiping it down with the Method All-Purpose Cleaner and the scent of lavender. It smells really good. And then I'll add a couple pieces here. You can do better. For most of the decorating that I'm doing today, I'm just using decor that I already have. So I'm shopping my own home, which is something that I like to do often. Just move things around. I feel like it really helps things feel fresh and like it's new without having to spend the money on new decor all the time. And for this bar cart, I'm using some copper tones and whites and just keeping things pretty neutral. And like I mentioned, adding some fresh flowers, which also always adds just something special to your decor. And it's really easy to switch those around. And I will still try to link some of these items if they're still available down below for you guys. I picked up these flowers from Costco. I love how full their bouquets are and not very expensive. And I think that the white flowers are perfect for a neutral spring look, which is what I was going for on the bar cart, as well as the other spaces that I'm redecorating. I love using neutral colors. I think it just makes our home look and feel calm and peaceful. And I'm all about making spaces feel cozy. So I just feel like you can never go wrong with some neutrals. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah, oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. And I only had one more Easter item left, so I took that off and decided to redecorate this tray. This little area is also really functional because I use a lot of what's on here, so I wanted to keep it really simple. I'm just refilling the olive oil bottle and then adding these metal bowls, which these are new and I got from Walmart. And then just draping this little napkin that I got from Anthropology a while back. And then off to the side, I wanted to add some some sort of greenery or a little plant so I'm just adding a faux plant that I already had and I hadn't used in a long time so I found the perfect little spot for it where do we go from here I want to go all in so give me a sign Go for this, no more tricks. 
The coffee table is also something that I wanted to redecorate and I actually made a video with several ideas on how to decorate a coffee table and this one is a similar idea that I shared but I hadn't actually decorated it this way yet so I thought it was the perfect time to do it. This bowl is from Target as well as the base filler and then this vase is from ikea and the dried bunny tail florals are from amazon and i'm just using the rule of three here so i'm adding a candle for that third item so give me a sign give me a sign oh, baby just give me a sign baby give me a sign just give me one more talking to you and so for this hutch, it's two pieces put together from Ikea, which I'll have linked down below. But since we got it, I've had those eat letters up and I'm honestly so tired of them and just over them. So I'm finally taking them down. I took everything else off already and I'm just going to use some items that either I already had or they were somewhere else in my house and I'm moving them here and I only got a few new items I actually only got three new things I got this brass vase and then this knotted brass object they're both from Target and they're the Studio McGee line but I just loved the brass I thought they were so beautiful and then I got a book from Goodwill I just took the cover off and I thought it was just the perfect color to match everything else everything started to change cause there's no going back no going back there's no going back to your own I feel like in the past couple of years, or maybe just this past year, my style has changed and little by little is changing. When we first moved into our home, I bought things that I don't think I would buy today, but that's totally okay. It's great to grow and change and it's been fun for me to really learn about decorating and styles and I feel like I'm still learning, but starting to figure out my style a little bit more. Like nothing could stop us Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong It was way more than a dream We climbed up Yeah, over the hillside So right, we stood there all wide eyed You and I Floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back No going back There's no going back to your own life no Living in the past I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying I'm using different bases and plates and just trying to have a variation of heights but still stick to a neutral color scheme so that things flow together better. I do have a little bit of gold and then some gray and then that brass color and I was talking to my best friend about this if those colors match and mixing metals but I think since I have a lot of neutrals then the colors do go well together. And on the open shelves, I have some bases and books, and I tried to use larger bases just to fill the space a little bit better. And then I have some cookbooks, which work well because I can easily grab them from here. And then at the bottom, I'm going to put a wood box, which works perfectly for extra storage. You can put stuff in there, so it's great when decor can be functional as well. And 
I just love it so much more now without the eat letters. Like I said, I was just so tired of them. So now looking at this makes me feel so much better. Here I'm just removing the flowers and adding back more of the eucalyptus. I felt that they just looked a little bit more Easter and I wanted things to go back to more neutral. So I'm going to change out that wreath for something more neutral as well. And if you're new here, I did a little DIY makeover of those vases, which I'll link that video down below. And if you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe if you're enjoying today's video. And moving on to upstairs, I wanted to restyle one side of the shelves because I had taken some of the pieces off to use in other places around our home. And this is what I'm going to be using. I'm keeping it again neutral and pretty simple. I had most of these items already. The only new thing that I got is this bowl from Goodwill. But I guess it was originally from Ikea. But I only paid $3.99 for it. So a really good find. kept the top shelf the same. I have a large vase and a large canvas abstract painting that has some black on it. So this black bowl ties in with that perfectly. And I'm just draping these wood beads from it. And then that vase is from Target. And when styling shelves, I swear sometimes it takes me forever to decide exactly how I want them. It's a lot of trial and error of what looks good. And sometimes I style it, sleep on it, think about it, and then style it again. But if I did that on camera, I swear this video would be hours long. But I just finally decided how I wanted to style them so I can film it. But definitely play around with your shelf decor. I think trying lots of different ways until you find something you really like is just always the best. Overall, I love how the shelves turned out and how the other spaces I redecorated turned out. I hope that you enjoyed watching and you got some ideas. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on my next one. Bye! How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always?